It's so good to be with you today. And we come to give you a message of hope and encouragement from Restoration Church. We know that God is watching over us. He cares about us. And he is long-suffering. Before we even begin and make our announcement, I want to give you a scripture that has been on my heart over the last 10 days to two weeks now. And uh, just want to read that scripture to you today. And maybe it will minister to you as it has ministered to me. We're going to be looking at Psalm 91 verses 1 through 6. Verse 1 says this to us. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by the day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. What an encouraging word that we have as believers, but also to the world. Because God was not surprised by this virus that uh, came out of China and spread into the rest of the world, including the United States. God was not moved off of his throne when it seemed as though the world would come flying apart. God is stable, and he's calling upon us to operate in faith and not fear. Let me tell you something. This is not the first time that bad things has happened in the world. Go to the Bible. Read from Genesis through Revelation. Focus in on what took place to the children of Israel. Notice what happened to those of the kingdoms. Notice what took place during the prophets. Then go into the New Testament and see what began to take place to the new church and those who were converts of Christ and how the Roman government besieged and tormented and did horrible, horrible things to the believers. Continue to read on through Revelation and what soon will take place, as Scripture tells us, will take place. My point in saying all those things to you today is that God is in control. And if we would trust and fear not, if we would rise up with hope and have faith, the Bible tells us that Hope is the beginning of our faith. Without hope, we have no faith. And I'm saying to you today, continue to hope, continue to believe, and continue to act upon the Word of God that He will sustain us through this. And let me say this to you. If something were to happen to your physical body as a believer, we have Scripture for that as well. The Bible tells us that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And so be encouraged by the words of God's word today. We come to you to make a special announcement with regard to Restoration Church and our services. Let me first say to you that our normal 10 o'clock service on Sunday morning will be everything but normal. As a matter of fact, it may look a whole lot like it's looking today with empty pews. Our governor has asked that we not have meetings more than 25 people, especially in a room where you could not sit within 6 to 10 feet apart. And so we have that sort of facility. And so we're saying that, that there will be this church going on on Sunday, 10 o'clock. I'll be here. As many of the praise team that feels comfortable will be here. And we will bring you a service right here on uh, either Facebook not live, but Facebook and recorded. And also our brand new uh, YouTube channel, which is Restoration Church Dothan. You can tune in there to watch. So we're saying to you that service will take place. We will limit our congregation Sunday morning to the first 25 that, that come through the door. 
We do have a questionnaire just like you've been seeing when you've gone into some public facilities and uh, uh, government facilities, uh, doctor's offices and hospitals. Just a small questionnaire about where you've been, if you've been sick. And if you've, if you've had fever, if you've been sick, if you've had some sort of ailment, if you have small children, um, there will not be a children's church this Sunday morning. So consider that. You might want to stay home and watch our broadcast right here on Facebook or on the YouTube channel. So we're saying to you, make sure that you use Common Sense Sunday as to whether you want to come out and be with us. We will have service at 10 o'clock and then make it uh, available to you to watch on a delayed basis uh, on those two, uh, on those two play places. Also, our other services, youth will be suspended until further notice. We, uh, we encourage our youth to stay focused on God's Word and continue to read and pursue God, listening to your uh, uh, worship music as we would everybody else. So uh, th those will be suspended because it's uh, nearly impossible to uh, have a youth service uh, in um, uh, an open setting to where uh, we would not... Uh, have anyone close together and also our Wednesday night services which is celebrate recovery those will continue on there will not be a meal served at six o'clock you'll come together and uh, uh, meet in the large room and have a time of, uh, of uh, recovery and testimony also, some of you are mandated to, to come out, and so that's going to be made available so that you can come by and get signed off for that for Celebrate Recovery. So those are the uh, limitations in which we have. We're trying our best to stick with what our governor and even the president has uh, made the suggestion of 25, 12, 10, whatever those are. But our facility will comfortably seat 150 folks we have 120 chairs out right now so we will be able to space you enough so that 25 folks can be in here and still uh, comply with what uh, our governor is suggesting so keep those things in mind we want to make sure that uh, you are uh, you're uh, covered and that uh, you're going to be in your best health I will say this to you we're coming through this folks God's hand is on us, and he will protect us. And if you are sick, pray. Call on the elders of the church. Send us a message. Send us a, uh, a, a Facebook message. Send us uh, your prayer request. We will pray for you. We may not be able to respond immediately because of the influx of prayer requests, but that's what the church is supposed to do. We are to pray one for another. Also, I want to encourage you to think about doing some fasting in prayer. Hey, listen, don't go out and, and uh, fill your house full of toilet paper. Those things are, are signs of, of fear and acting uh, upon fear. I would also encourage you to maybe do some fasting in praying. That will help stretch your uh, uh, meals out and, and not have to have as many. You say, well, Pastor, is that what fasting is all about? Absolutely not. Fasting is about getting us closer to the Lord, but it can be used for many different things. Uh, so I'm saying to you, if you'd, uh, if you'd like to fast with us. We uh, received a couple of calls yesterday about folks that were going to begin fasting. And, and uh, uh, some of those are using uh, some of the... Uh, uh, older type methods of, of, of uh, missing one meal or, or skipping two meals and just drinking fluids and then having a light meal for their uh, afternoon or, or evening meal with their families. And, and, and this is a good time to, to really focus in on, on family relationships. So let's do that. A uh, lot, of, lot of different things have been taking place. I've seen some funny stuff. I've seen some sad things. But the, bat, the thing that I want to say to you today is, you know, keep your spirit up. Keep focused on uh, God is in control. And make sure you know that we here are praying for you and keeping uh, ourselves uh, in uh, uh, reach so that if you need us, you call and we'll be there in prayer and reach out to you. 
We also feel that it's necessary to let you know that the business of Restoration Church has to keep on going. And so you know about our Venmo. If you don't, that is available by going to Restoration Church Dothan at yahoo.com and sending your Venmo that away. There's the uh, slide on that. Also, on our Facebook page, we have a PayPal. PayPal is a bit more expensive to do, but, you know, it's there. You can click on that and make it. And I think that the United States Postal Service is going to continue to stay open. So if you want to make your check out and send it to us, we will get it. That address is 704 East Highway 134, Midland City, Alabama 36350, and it's, of course, Restoration Church. Let me say that to you again, 704 East Highway 134, Midland City, Alabama 36350. So those are our uh, locations of, uh, of, of reference for sending in your tithe and uh, uh, make sure that uh, the business stuff keeps going as well. You know, we love you guys. We hope that uh, this message has been a message of encouragement to you. We pray that you will use good common sense as to whether to come out and be with us. If you're sick, if you're elderly, and feel like you need to stay in, please do so. If not, 25 of you will be made welcome Sunday morning right here with us at Restoration Church. We love you. Let me end by a short prayer with you and uh, just a prayer of encouragement. Father God, we come to you today on behalf of all those who are watching and listening, whether it be through Facebook or YouTube. And we pray, Lord, that your hand would be upon them. Also could be that folks that have nothing to do with Restoration Church, but they happen to just cross our page. They happen to just tune into our YouTube. So, Lord, I pray for them as well. I pray, Lord, that you would bring calmness, that you would bring hope, that you would bring faith and replace fear with trust in you. And, Lord, I pray that you would keep your people safe from these pestilence, these sicknesses that come against us. And, Lord, I pray that you would bring a strong, strong confidence to the leadership of this nation, our president, our Congress, and also our judges, that those branches of our government would stand strong and do the right thing for this nation during this crisis. And Lord, if anything else, that this country, that the United States of America would return to calling upon the God of our creation and ask that you would help us, lead us and guide us, and support us through this time. We give you praise, honor, and glory for your healing, for your grace, but most of all, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is watching over us today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. We hope to get back to normal soon, but until that time, watch for us. We're going to be doing some podcasts during the weeks and uh, coming to you here from uh, Restoration Church. Love you guys. Hope to talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.